This is Will You Snail. I've been following its development for a couple years, so I was really excited to get an early copy of the game. I don't want to delay any longer. I, I should say, though, although I was given an early copy of the game, I was not obligated to say anything about it. So everything I say is completely my own. Stop on 200. Oh. <laughs> oh. I don't know if I can do it. I know. <laughs> Goals. So what's my goal here? Escaping Squid? Escaping him? Are you kidding? You'll have to destroy him, of course. <laughs> nice. Really looking forward to getting my revenge. There's a bit more going on here, though. Those who are curious will find out. I am curious. What does that button down there do? I don't know, but 157 is a nice number. What were you doing there, human? Were you reading something? Interesting. I don't see anything over there. Very suspicious. Alright. Great. Go waste your time going off on a tangent. I'll wait here. Nice. Another snail! Oh. Oh. There are hats. <laughs> nice. Let's be honest, without your help, people are never going to find this room, though. Oh, don't worry about that. I kind of have something planned for that. Okay. I can pick a hat here? That's a dope secret. Sure, gotta reward those who are curious. Yeah. And now I... Oop. <laughs> I can mock the AI by wearing his face above myself. I want to say these controls are really snappy. There's not a whole lot of... Uh... There's not a whole lot of difference in jump height that you can get, but there is a little bit, and it makes it feel very responsive. Oh. I didn't expect there would be a secret area in the very first room. So this is how the finished game will look like? More or less, yeah. Oh, that's such a perfect caricature of Squid. Wait, he said that he will escape the simulation and kill us all? Should I be scared? Oh, it's not an empty threat. The danger is very real. Remember that the message is not directed towards you, though. Oh, right. Hmm. I was thinking for a moment that maybe this was all just a game created by someone called Unicorn, but if it... if there actually isn't a possibility of the AI escaping, that... 
That changes things a bit. And I don't know if that Dalin person is is a human or another character in the game. I, I wonder if I can ever, I don't know if I'll unlock new abilities, but I don't seem to be able to get there right now. Oh. I guess I discovered the panic death button. not to do that. Ah, that was awesome. Uh, <laughs> do that again. I didn't quite see it. I don't think it's possible to avoid these spikes. Okay. Lol. <laughs> One more time, please. <laughs> okay. Oh. Wait, oh, did you move the spikes to figure out? It out. That's a bit disappointing. Next up, I'd like to choose the correct difficulty level for us to play on. I've already seen a bit of what you're capable of, but I'm afraid another test will be necessary. Unless there's something I'm missing, Look, there's no way to get up I there. I know what you're trying to oh, do. Okay. I don't think you can get up there yet. Just I didn't leave think it and move on that I would unlock any now. abilities, okay. but I guess I will. This test is quite simple. Even you can understand it. When I say go, you must try to reach the end of the level as quickly as possible. Do you understand? You'll have to go as quickly as you can. The door will open in 3, 2, 1, go. No double jump here. Precision, please. Faster! Faster! Hmm, that was quite decent for a human. Which is why I selected the easy difficulty for you. Don't <laughs> worry, as you can see in the background here, there are only easy difficulties in this game. The higher difficulties are reserved for more intelligent species. Uh, I love shaming humans for their inferiority. You can change the difficulty at any time from the menu, by the way. This is just my personal recommendation for making you feel as dumb as possible. Now go ahead, I want to show you something. That's cool that it has a, a little test to recommend a difficulty level. I was planning now. I to won't say choose the, the second highest difficulty, but... You for wasting my time. <laughs> but I guess I'll stick with what I was recommended. So, I don't I know, know how hard that's going to be, but... A super that make you jump less? I don't know what the colors on the platforms are about. Got a nice Vitruvian man. What on. if I told you that it is possible to simulate consciousness? I would be skeptical, but it's possible. Every single light represents a conscious being in one of my simulations. Really? The inhabitants of a simulation can be more than alive. Experience love, happiness, fear. But even more importantly, they can also experience pain. 
Another secret. This one is just right in front of me. No turning back. Dallin, I'm getting a bit scared when you stare out into the stars like that. What are you thinking about? I don't know. I guess I'm scared as well, I guess. Sometimes it feels like all of this is going to slip out of my hands in the blink of an eye. Well, there's no turning back now. I know. To be honest, if I could, I would have turned you off yesterday. Forever. Hmm, I get it. Just let me tell you that I will always love you and every human on this planet. Rapid change like this can be very scary, but it'll be alright, trust me. Huh. It is what it is. It would have broken my heart anyways. Huh. Hey, you know, maybe we'll get the chance to visit the stars together one day. Very possible. Well, that changes my impression of, <laughs> of the characters. missed something here, but I'm going to move on for now. First you were here, now you're back there. Just please don't hop between levels too much. It's making me a bit dizzy already. I don't know if there's any way to exit the secret areas without jumping between levels. Sorry, Squid. And the best part is... I have full control over this simulation, so I can hurt my virtual prisoners as much as I please. Look closely, human. The beings represented by these lights are suffering from unimaginable pain right now. They might be simulated, but their pain is real. And so is my joy. Beautiful. <laughs> Poor souls from suffering. Mm. Spoiler, you can't. They are forever mine. And now it is time for you to suffer. Uh, <laughs> the challenge begins. I hope you're prepared. Oh, so this is where the real challenge begins, huh? Yep, don't be shy to adjust the difficulty in the settings if you have to. Also note that it's very normal to be stuck in a level for a while, even on the lower difficulty settings. It's a hard game. Whatever you're reading there, I hope it's something deeply disturbing and demoralizing. Oh yeah, so demoralizing. The rules are simple. You just try to reach the end of the level, oh. and I'll <laughs> try not to looking. kill you. Good luck. Okay, My so this- oh. algorithm can predict every move you'll make. Maybe try to be a bit less predictable next time. So close before the end. Okay, so By the way, every time you die, I'll kill a simulated conscious entity okay, in buddy. all of my simulations. <laughs> so Just for fun, because I can. Uh, so these I know where you want to go. So I'll spawn friends to intercept you. Don't even try to outplay me. This is a battle you can't win. So by default. Ah! There is a I setting like that allows the jump AI jump to manually adjust it or automatically adjust the difficulty for you based on your performance. But I turned that off because I want a consistent difficulty throughout, even I by just myself. reduced the game difficulty so we can move on at some point. Is that right? Hold on. I turned it off, but it didn't stay off. I guess I probably have to turn it off within this save. All right. Oh, you disagree with the difficulty I selected for you? You think you're so smart, don't you? Why don't you just disable automatic difficulty adjustments in the gameplay settings then? Huh? I did. I did that first. Okay. Ugh, this is gonna take a bit of getting used to. Okay. Do you have to fake it out? What a disappointing start into this level. Why would 
you download a platformer game if you're that bad at jumping. No, don't you dare to blame the controls for this. <laughs> no, the controls are great. As you can see, there are two oh. different paths, which lead to two different rooms. The bottom path is where the main game continues, so I suggest you take that one for now. Oh. Yeah, yeah, the top path the is the bottom path is the easier one anyway. But not that easy, you idiot. You still need to at least try. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so the controls are very reactive and very precise, but... Wow, that was already your 10th step in this level. How did you do that so quickly? The spikes are so big. I was trying to collect the spikes. Lol, you jumped right into that, just as I expected. Haha, <laughs> uh, I oh. hope dying there makes you really angry. A little bit. consistently jump low enough for that. Oh, I... The, okay, so the height of the jump arc is too high for those spikes, so you have to... you have to peek before you move forward into them. I'm so good at this game. For some reason, this is where you keep failing every single time. Yeah. Do me. And we crossed the 50 death checkpoint. Woohoo, milestone. I should go for the uh, <laughs> for the second highest difficulty level, like I was originally planning. Did you just downgrade the difficulty from easy to very easy? Well, that's yeah. probably a good call, to be honest. Yeah, it uh, probably is. That was not quite the correct timing for that jump, I guess. Uh, Moving up 
tentacles. <laughs> Am I right? I knew that would mess with you. Oh. Yeah, a little bit. No, not like that. You saw that thing coming from miles away. It's only tap. <laughs> there we go. And here come the conveyor belts. Guess who is in control of the conveyor belts? It's me. Is he able to adjust the conveyor Maybe belts? Maybe next time you'll make it all the way. Just kidding, I don't think so. Oh, he is. Yes! That's right, even more conveyor belts. I know you secretly love them I as much as the I do. I the boxes also crush me. What a perfect yep. time change in the conveyor belt direction. I'm so smart. I knew oh. you messed up that jump. <laughs> Not a price here. Oh boy! Nice it's, well, it's quite impressive how well timed all these changes are. There we go. And action. Ooh. Attempt one failed as miserably as I expected. Ah. Uh. Yeah, lol. An enemy bounced right into you. I have a hard time watching the blocks above and the spikes below at the same time. Crushed by a mindless bouncy block. Pathetic. You're clearly having trouble with this exact section of the level, don't you? Oh, okay, so jumping does all a burst shot. Oh no, you will never get past this section. Oh, oh man. Yeah, I forgot to tell you. These blocks fall down when you destroy them. die anyway. Seeing your diet fun at all, but I'm starting to get a bit tired of this level. I thought I was going to be dodging that. Whoever invented gravity was a genius. Yeah, I believe Isaac Newton invented gravity in uh, 2001.
Oh. oh, I guess those are gonna... Yeah, okay. Oh! They can even destroy the enemies. There's still blocks up there. Maybe you should take a meditation break to calm your nerves a bit. No, I'm dedicated. I wasn't looking at the...
Wow, it gets crazy. to beating that is to stop thinking. <laughs> first chapter complete. Congrats for beating that boss. You successfully finished the first 20% of the game. Oh wow, that was a fifth of the game already? Let me guess, the other boss fights will be more of Squid's favorite killy, killer robots, right? Good guess. Crazy to think back to it now. You still remember how it all started? Of course. I gotta get the I gotta get the extra point. Oh that's a tight gap. Oh, okay. Yes! Alright, well that's chapter one complete. That's all I can show for now. But this was a lot of fun and I'm really excited to play the rest of the game. So I don't know that I will make any more gameplay videos of this, but I bet I might do a review or a discussion about this later on. But if you do want me to post gameplay of the rest of the game, uh, just comment below, like the video, and I, I might be able to do that as well. So thanks for watching this, and goodbye. <laughs>